Have you ever had one of those experiences that makes you feel really old? Well, I had one of those experiences when we talked about offering hospitality to each other. And of course, I had the video where I made the popcorn and it was a joke. Uh, plus, please don't use popcorn, don't use corn that comes in a can. Use popcorn. And so it got back to me that there were people in the congregation who actually hadn't made popcorn on a stovetop. So I thought I'd show you how to make popcorn for real on the stovetop. Now I've already preheated uh, the burner and here's our pot and here's the corn uh, that we gave out to the congregation. And you'll probably be able to pick up some more of this out in the foyer today because we still have to finish out the 50 pound bag of popcorn. So first of all, your stovetop is, is hot and this is electric. Now I've got gas at home. Anyone who knows me wouldn't be surprised that I have gas. Uh, but this is electric and I'd rather use uh, gas at home. But this is already heated up on high and here we have our pan. And we're going to, first of all, I'm going to put some popcorn in. Now you may say, well, I'm not sure how much popcorn to put in. And I would just tell you, I'm not absolutely sure either. But you want to make sure that you don't put in too much. Uh, so I'm going to pour some popcorn in. And uh, I don't know if you can uh, see that. We'll get a better shot of that. And then we're going to put in oil. And we're just going to put in oil almost like if these were uh, some, something that we were going to fry up. In other words, we don't want to drown them in oil. We just want the uh, kind of the bottom part of the corn uh, to be sitting in the oil. And uh, we'll show you a close-up of this as well. And so there's uh, the popcorn in the oil. Now make sure you put your lid on and the, the, one of the keys to this is you've got to keep, once this starts to pop, you've got to keep the corn moving because if you don't, it is going to burn on the bottom of the pan. So it's on the stove right now and it's beginning to uh, heat up. I don't need to do anything with it but uh, right now, but you do need to pay attention to it because you definitely don't want it to burn. And if you'll, you'll begin to listen, you'll, uh, start, you'll start to hear it cook. Now, how popcorn pops is popcorn, like corn, this is a very thick uh, husk on it. Uh, and what happens is the corn becomes so hot that the small amount of moisture in the corn actually causes the corn, when it gets hot enough, to explode and fold inside out. That's what a piece of popped corn is. I don't have to uh, shake this yet, but as those kernels fall back onto that oil, we want to keep the uncooked, uh, unpopped kernels at the bottom and the cooked ones at the top. So I'm watching and listening, and uh, soon I will begin to shake this to keep the heavier unpopped kernels at the bottom and the light pop kernels at the top. And uh, there it goes, it's popping. And also just to remind you, this is a very quick process because I think so many people think that microwave uh, popcorn is so much faster and really I don't think that it is that much faster than this. And we'll want to listen because when it really begins to slow down, you want to get this off so that it doesn't burn. And don't bother, uh, don't let it bother you to take the pan right off the heat and hold it down here near the heat and put it on for a while and take it off. You want to keep it moving. Better to have some left in the bottom that are uncooked than to have it burned. Because the problem is with it being burned now, I think it's just about done. You can hear one of the temptations is to try to get every last kernel. Don't, don't worry about that. You don't want to burn it. Now as far as spicing this uh, popcorn, it's always great to just sprinkle some salt on it and then mix it around uh, with your clean hand and then put it in smaller bowls for people to serve. Also another thing that I like on popcorn like this is to put salt and pepper on it. Kind of reminds you how you have, uh, have your uh, corn on the cob in the summer. Also people put things like Parmesan cheese on here or some like butter uh, flavored uh, popcorn salt and they make some of that that's even hot with different kinds of uh, seasoning. Some may even put garlic salt on their popcorn just to give you some different varieties. Some, uh, and of course then much more complicated processes to make kettle corn. But the point was, isn't making popcorn, the point is to, that hospitality is inexpensive. And if we take the time to invite someone over, we can really get to know them better and really have some good fellowship with them. So popcorn may be oh so good, but fellowship's even better. And that's good, even without salt on it yet. <laughs>